Cattle drowned, crops destroyed, and some forced to survive by eating grass and roots. That's the impact, according to the United Nations, of the worst flooding to hit parts of South Sudan in nearly 60 years. Arafat Jamal, the country's representative for the UN's refugee agency, said more than 700,000 people have been affected and that the number is rising daily. We've, we've seen houses submerged, people wading through water and infrastructure damaged. The floods are a reality. This is the 21st century and we have spoken to people who have said they have not seen flooding like this since 1962. The cause, the UN says, is climate change and three years of consecutive floods have eroded people's ability to cope. The rains are expected to continue for the rest of the year, increasing the need for aid. And the UN is also warning that as people head for higher ground, the likelihood of conflict between communities increases. What we would like to do as an international community, what we must do is support the efforts of the people and the government of South Sudan to combat climate change and to see how to make the lives of people better and more hopeful. Nearly a decade after gaining independence, the world's newest nation also remains one of its poorest. Nearly all the population depends on international food aid, and most basic services such as health and education are provided by the UN and aid groups.